So we're going to get started with creating a simple community website. A free and very easy way to do this is to create a blog. There are many blogging platforms available which you may have heard of, such as Blogspot, WordPress and TypePad. WordPress is the most widely used blogging platform that is available as a free hosted version. This is because it is very easy to use but also quite flexible, so you can develop it and add further features as your confidence grows. To get started with creating a WordPress account and website, I first need to go to www.wordpress.com in my internet browser and click on the large orange Get Started Here button on the left hand side of the screen. It will take me to a form to complete. The first thing it's asking me to do is to create a blog domain. This is the unique web address. It cannot be changed later, however it can be upgraded for a small fee. WordPress is asking me if I want to upgrade the domain name. I'll just carry on with a free version for now, so click no thanks and carry on. It then asks me to create or confirm my username. This is not the name of the website but will be the username I will sign into all the WordPress.com websites I create or contribute to in future. The username cannot be changed. It then asks for a password. This should be something that is easy for me to remember but difficult for others to guess. A mixture of numbers, letters and symbols will make it stronger. Then I put in my email address. And at the end, just click the big orange sign up button at the bottom of the page. By doing this, I am agreeing to their standard terms of service. WordPress will tell me that an activation email has been sent to me. To get to this, I need to go to my email inbox in a new tab on my internet browser. If you find the email from WordPress is not there, try checking your spam folder. If the email is still not there, go back to the openwordpress.com tab in the internet browser and check you've entered the correct email address during sign-up. If you've e entered your email address incorrectly, you can update it at the bottom of the page and get WordPress to send you a new activation email to the correct address. Once you receive the confirmation email from WordPress, click on the activation link within the email. You should now be in the WordPress blog dashboard. This is an at-a-glance overview of your websites. Options to amend the website and add content are down the left-hand side of the page. On the right-hand side of the page you can see viewing statistics, latest posts, recent comments and other such information. The new WordPress website is now live online. We can see how it looks to readers by clicking on the blog title in the top left hand corner of the page. This will take us to the front page of our website. As you can see, all new WordPress websites are given a very basic theme or template. You'll probably want to customise the website's appearance so it suits your needs and has the right look and feel. You may even want to insert your own image into the site's header to really personalise it. This is very easy to do. You will use the menu on the left hand side of the WordPress dashboard to add posts and make changes to your website. To change the look of your website go to the appearance option in the left hand menu. As you can see 
There are many different themes available for your website. We will work with the most popular theme, 2010 for now. This can be changed to something else later if you like. To get a preview of what our website will look like with the 2010 theme, just click on the thumbnail image of the 2010 theme. To activate the theme, we just play, press Activate 2010 in the top right-hand corner of the pop-up window that appears. And if we go to the front page of the website, we can see that the theme has been changed. Within this theme, we can custom the header, so we have our own image in this header place box here. To do this, we just go back into the dashboard and click on the header option underneath the appearance menu on the left hand side. It's telling us we can custom the header and I can upload an image from my hard drive. So I just press choose file to go searching for the file on my computer. And once the file is in the box there, I just press Upload. Unless you upload an image that matches the dimensions of your theme's header exactly, you will need to crop it. To do this, we just go into the selected box here until our cursor turns into a crossbow. We then slide the selection around until it's exactly where we want it. And once we're happy with the selection, we just press Crop and Publish underneath the image. It's telling us that the header has been updated. We can visit the site to see how it looks. Now my website is looking good, I'm ready to start adding some content to it and writing and publishing my first post. Now I've created a new website and changed its appearance, I can get on with adding some content to the site by writing my first post. If you've come across blogs before, you'll know that there are different types of content on them such as posts and comments. A post is an update, a little like a magazine article. A comment is what a reader will leave in response to a post. We'll talk about dealing with comments later on, but for the moment we'll just add our first post. To add a new post to the website's front page, I'll just go into the dashboard and click on the Posts option in the left-hand menu. And then I'll click on the subheader, Add New. In the Edit Post screen that appears, you can see writing a post is a little bit like writing an email, with a box for the post title and a larger box underneath for the main body of text. I'll just add a simple descriptive title for the post and some text for the main body underneath.
You can see the text box has a toolbar just above it, which is a little bit like a Word document. You can make text bold or italic, and you can also create bulleted or numbered lists. You can also spell check your text with the ABC box. Once the post is ready, I can either save it as a draft if I want to check some facts or figures before publishing, or if I'm happy with it, go ahead and publish by clicking on the blue publish button in the box on the right hand side. It's telling me that my post is published and I can view my post. So there we have it. In a very short space of time, I've created a new WordPress website, altered its appearance and inserted my own image into the header area and drafted and published my first post.